to recover this booster uh, after liftoff and stage separation on our drone ship named a shortfall of gravitas and you can see it out there on the atlantic ocean falcon 9 is in startup LD, go for launch. And with that, we're on our way to liftoff just under 40 seconds from now. T-minus 30 seconds. So main engine cutoff, stage separation, and Merlin vacuum. Confirmed. Start, and there was fairing deploy as well. You can see those fairing halves on the left-hand side of your screen, as well as the grid fins on the first stage deploying. Now we will be attempting to recover both of those fairing halves. Both of them are... Both of them are for their fifth and fourth flights. We just had a glimpse there of the sun reflecting off those fairing halves. There you can see the fairing halves reflecting some sunlight as we're heading up to orbit. Left hand dot is the engine on the Merlin vacuum. I believe the middle object is our first stage and then the fairing halves around it. T 
seeing some periodic nitrogen gas bursts on our first stage as it's reorienting for its next major activity, which will be the entry burn. On the right-hand side of your screen, we've got our Merlin vacuum engine continuing to burn as it's taking our 52 Starlink satellites to orbit. Today's mission does mark SpaceX's 181st launch overall. The, the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen has previously supported three missions, SES-22 and two previous Starlink missions, today marking its fourth. And you can see that its speed and altitude are fairly stable. It's arcing its way back to planet Earth attempt a landing and on the right hand side of your screen you can actually see the curvature of planet earth behind our merlin vacuum engine now as a reminder we are flying Starlink satellites today, and Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed and low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. We are currently live in 47 markets around the world. see the sunlight reflecting off our first stage on the left hand side of your screen its next major activity coming up that'll be the start of its entry burn to prepare it for atmospheric re-entry and slow down One entry burn to start up. So for this burn, we are igniting three of the Merlin engines, which helps slow down the first stage. Stage one entry burn shut down. As we start stage hitting the top, of, as we start hitting the top of the Earth's atmosphere. Now from here on, we've got enough atmospheric force where those grid fins that we saw deploy earlier will help guide the first stage towards our drone ship. Second stage burn continues to look nominal. The second stage will continue to burn until the point uh, right around the time where the first stage will be landing. That'll be about T plus 8 minutes and 30 or so seconds. Stage 1 transonic. With that, the first stage is transitioning through the speed of sound. Its next major activity will be the landing burn. Stage one landing burn. Startup of just a single Merlin vacuum engine. We'll see landing leg deploy as well shortly. Also keep an ear out here for second stage engine stage cutoff. One landing like deploy. Stage 
12 landing confirmed. So with those two callouts and a great shot from the drone ship, we've got confirmation of our second stage in the nominal orbit. And our first stage, Falcon 9, has landed, marking the 143rd landing of an orbital class rocket. This marks our 43rd launch of 2022. And there were a couple of callouts there as well for nominal orbit insertion, so that means that the second stage is right where we want it to be, carrying those 52 Starlink satellites.